there, church. I'm Pastor Josh, and this is your Monday moment, a quick recap of what happened at church just yesterday. Yesterday, we had Mitch McGee, a guest speaker and missionary with New Hope Outreach. He's the brand new director of New Hope Outreach, which is an organization that ministers in five different countries around the world, from Russia all the way down to Ethiopia. And they're doing amazing work with sharing the love of Jesus with people all over the world. But it's almost every time we have a missionary, I always end up getting the question of, why missions? Why do we put such a big emphasis on supporting missions and missionaries? Our church supports almost 30 missionaries, and a large portion of our yearly budget goes to supporting those missionaries. So why do we do that? Well, the answer is really simple, actually. And the answer comes from what John 3.16 does not say. You see, John 3.16 does not say, For God so loved Colville that he gave his only begotten son. John 3.16 does not say, For God so loved America. John 3.16 is very, very clear in saying, For God so loved the world. And so we get the opportunity to partner with missionaries like Mitch and 26 other missionaries from our church to make sure that the entire world gets the opportunity to hear Jesus. You see, there are places in the world that me and and you and people in our church cannot go and probably haven't, haven't been called to go to. And so rather than going ourselves, we get to support them financially and we get to support them prayerfully. Another reason why we support missions so greatly is because of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. It says, And the gospel will be preached in the whole world, and then the end will come. We are so excited for the day that Jesus comes down and he takes his church to be reunited with him. But in order for that to come, the whole world needs to hear the truth of who Jesus is. And so there are two things that I want to call you to action to this week. The first is I want you to consider how you can be a supporter of missions. The easiest way that you can do that is to add our missionaries to your prayer time. Just pray for them. They need it so desperately. So many places in this world are so hard to minister in. And so pray for our missionaries. You might also be able to support them financially. You have your tithe that you give to the church. But if you would like to give on top of that and support a missionary personally, we would love to help you in that. We can give you a list of the missionaries that we support. We can help you see what you can do and what just a few dollars each month could do to help these missionaries. But the second thing I want to call you to action towards this week is this truth. Mitch gave this really amazing picture during his message on Sunday. He said, I want you to just close your eyes and imagine that you go over to your neighbor's house and you share the gospel with them. You tell them that Jesus is Lord and that if they repent from their sins and turn to him, they will be saved. And this person responds. And before they can even vocalize it, before you even know for sure what has happened, Jesus says, yep, that was the one I was waiting for. Remember when I said that once everyone has heard, then I will come? Jesus said, that was the one. And just like that, at the snap of a finger, Jesus comes back and he rescues his church and we get to be forever with him and with your neighbor in eternity for heaven. So, one thing that you can do this week is is you can go to your neighbor, you can go to your friends, you can go to your coworkers, you can go to your family and just be bold about the fact that Jesus loves them and he did everything that he might have a relationship with them. So this week, two things you can be doing, praying for missionaries and being an evangelist. Remember, the last unreached people group just might be your neighbor. So we love you. We are excited to see you next Sunday for church and for the trunk or treat after church on Halloween evening. So have a great week. Love you. And we'll see you next week.